guys, it's Alice and since we have made it past the halfway point of 2020, I thought we would have a little chat about how my reading is going so far. So I think we can all agree that 2020 has been an interesting year so far. Remember how everyone said that 2019 was like a dumpster fire of a year? We were wrong. This is a dumpster fire. <laughs> Anyways, at the beginning of this year I made a video talking about my reading goals and we're just gonna see today how I'm doing with all of that. I didn't really make any big reading plans besides trying to read 100 books this year, which is the same goal that I've had for several years now, and so far this year I've read 60 books, which I feel like is pretty alright. It's about the same amount as I would usually have read by this point in the year, I feel. I think maybe I've read a few more books because when Corona happened, I flew through a bunch of books. But I'm like back at my normal reading speed now and 60 books is pretty good. I feel like that's a good place to be right now. I didn't make any other reading goals, but I did tell you that I was going to keep track of certain things. So I have a spreadsheet that I fill out every time I've finished a book and I keep track of whether or not the book is in English or Norwegian, if it's fiction or non-fiction, if it's translated, if it's a classic, and if it's a reread. At least those were the things that I talked about in that video. Throughout the year though, I have added two extra categories. So I keep track of whether or not the book is in a series, and then I also keep track of whether or not the author is a BAME author, which if you don't know, stands for Black, Asian, and Minority Ethnic. And I added that last one in like June when everything was happening with the Black Lives Matter movement because I just want to see how I'm doing and I want to be aware of it and do better about reading and supporting those authors. So I figured we would do some stats here because everybody loves those and I think we should start with how my ratings have been so far this year. So I have given two books one star, I've given nine books two stars. 25 books, 3 stars, 19 books, 4 stars, and 5 books, 5 stars. And I feel like that's about the same as usual. I've maybe read a little bit more 4 star reads this year, which is great. Just for fun, the books that I have given 5 stars to this year is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, They Were Sisters by Dorothy Whipple, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which was a reread, Ask Again Yes by Mary Beth Keane and Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asimov and I would obviously recommend all of them. I've read 50 books by women, 18 by men and two that I've categorized as other because those have been collections of stories written by all kinds of different people. 47 of the books I've read are fiction and 13 have been non-fiction which I feel like is alright, but I've read less nonfiction this year than I usually do. And I feel like maybe the reason for that is that I noticed that when Corona happened, I like wasn't pulled towards nonfiction at all. I only wanted to read fiction, I think because of like the escapism that that offers. But I would like to get back on like the nonfiction train and try to read more nonfiction for the rest of the year. Seven of the books that I've read have been in Norwegian, the rest have been in English. Ten have been translated, which I feel like is alright, but I would like to try and reach for more translated books going forward. Three of the books have been rereads, nine have been classics, which I'm happy with, and eight of them have been in a series, which is fine. I don't really know why I started tracking if a book is in a series or not, because it's not something that I'm particularly bothered with. 15 of the books that I've read have been by BAME authors, which comes to about 25%. And I think that I can do better with this, and it's gonna be relatively easy to rectify because it's just about doing a little bit more research into the authors of the books that I'm getting and the books that I want to read. And actually, it's been very helpful that a lot of people, because of everything that's been happening, have made like videos and Instagram posts about books by black authors and I have added so many of them to my TBR. So now it's just about like getting those books and actually reading them. If you have any recommendations for books by BAME authors, I would love to know, especially if the books are like dystopia, science fiction, or mystery thrillers, because those are the genres that I'm having the hardest time 
finding books in. So yeah, that is how things have been going so far this year and to summarize for the rest of the year, I think I'm gonna try to focus on reading more translated books, more non-fiction and preferably a lot more books by diverse authors. And I gotta say, keeping track of it like this in a spreadsheet is amazing. Like it works really really well for me instead of having like a goal of like reading 15 translated books in a year. Just keeping track of it like this and seeing how I'm doing is so much fun and it's very chill and not stressful but you can still like see what you maybe want to work on and yeah I just think it's great. I also really have to mention that I have a renewed appreciation for books so far this year because I just feel like they're the best thing to have when times are rough and even though I haven't had the roughest time myself it's just been a stressful time and having books to lean on has been amazing and I feel like that's like a weird thing to say but also everyone here are book lovers so you all know what I mean. I also want to talk a little bit about how everything's going with this channel this year because I've mentioned in videos and on Instagram that I am having a slightly hard time coming up with video ideas lately and it's been like it's been like this for a couple of months and you know I've had this channel for like five years and I think I've made something like 400 or 500 videos and coming up with new stuff to make has just been really hard and I don't know I just feel a little bit uninspired like I love making videos when I sit down to film them but it's just the process before that of coming up with stuff to talk about that has just been a little bit difficult and I'm just I don't know I'm in a little bit of like an idea slump so as usual I would love to know if you have any ideas for videos and what I mean ideas I mean like specific ones because I get comments saying like I want to see more reading vlogs but what kind of reading vlogs do you want to see do you want like a theme do you have any suggestions for themes or books to read and I have a lot of people asking for recommendation videos but like what kind of recommendations and like do you want to see any TBRs or any specific types of tags or like anything please help a girl out I also always get a lot of suggestions when I ask for ideas to make another bookshelf tour and honestly I'm not gonna make one <laughs> they are so incredibly time-consuming and the other one that I did isn't that old so like you can go watch that if you're interested but any other suggestions and ideas are very welcome okay guys that was everything for today although this year hasn't been like great so far I feel like at least my reading is on point if nothing else and I would love to know how your reading is going so far this year what's the best books you've read did you make any goals and how are you doing with them and I will see you soon bye